bloom, bloom, bloom. Erupting round and massive, out it comes. A spinning flower flaring spiral arms, kaleidoscopic. Bars of colored light, cocooned and idle, butterflying free. Out, up, above us, everywhere. All heard invisible, drown deep in light. As we, like gapers on auroral skies, stand awed beneath the crimson blossoming of this, the waking detonation of a vast kaleidoscopic eye. With spiral arms it heaves its flower forth and dyes the world, purple to red, cerulean, dark plum, thread lightning strips of lavender and jade transfiguring as complex symmetries geometrize in perfect pattern forms and fractal shapes the iris colors round. In gyric windmill arcs and bended blades, a seething vortex like a sudden moon revolving. All this from the idol's clay, borne out into the air, an eye, a wheel, an orb, prismatic high spectacular, a sculpted idol's offspring, resurrection lord. And the great wheels spin, and as they spin they grow. Their sound is alien, their sound is music, symphonic, overwhelming, groaned like Double basses in a tiger roar, and cello sonorous, dark, rich, low tones bowed deep and vibratory, guttural as sand, and honey-sweet as choruses, as symphony, as on the spirals churn their huge galactic revolutions sawed into the air. My God, he rises, blooms, unfolds, unfurls in fire and flame, in wreaths of burning circles like a helix dance, and turning. Every movement, sprig and fleck of pigment, every flourishing of hue and shape, imperative, all necessary, as the great gear, being becoming, grows, styles, stigmas, pistols, petals, stamens, anthers, into the air, into epiphany, and turns the very atmosphere an eye. There, deep inside, the pupil radiates its patterned radials, mandala-like, from core to edge, from dot to iris, grows and bears new leaf, new shapes, new colored light and endless seeding spawns mitotically as the vast arcs turn, turn, saw merciless slow pinwheel revelations, glorious, huge splendor of the eye. And every hue plays instrument, each fractal fanning shape a noise in harmony, kaleidoscopic, spinning and singing music of the spheres with each rotation, and the iris round, each blue now black and coral white, a voice in choral sound so sonorous it cries, and blended low melisma of the light euphonious within the star. So each bright petal in peristiche and spiral sing in the liquid symphony of light their hymns to in as harmony, as all their haunting swells, drums, 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 and lines like melodies in slivering color flare a burning song across the sky. Its sense, though not its sound, the sense it signifies, in meaning, not in word, is hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, as dark, terrible ripples from the iris eye groan cello thunder choiring outward, out, groan deep electric music optically to all from eye, pulsed spiral blossoming and flower-like from pupil, stamen, core, conductor to his orchestra, and sound kaleidoscopic ringing through design. There, in the holy center, pulses what? I cannot say. A knotted paradox unfolding plausibility like rain. Infinities of sowing seed that grow and then decay. The source of everything unknowable, unnamed. In all its sea of colors, arcs, and shapes, it intimates, deep nucleus in the electron's rings, and point gazed downward through the DNA, 
or center of a cell which holds it in, gold axle of a wheel, and baby's head beneath the navel in her mother's womb, the center tree ring in the years of wood, and planet's inner core through mantle skin, the star that spools its solar system sling, and hidden black hole in its galaxy. Of all these pivots, hearts, and centers, this plays paradigm, and thrones the utmost core, rippling and rolling too hypnotically for words, as all its colors drown the world. But now, I'm taken, risen upward, up, drawn floating upward to the innermost, and swimming in the gazing of the eye, kaleidoscopic, falling up, inside, and lost now in these fanning blades of light, I shrink to such a particle, so small. So fine a fleck before the glorious, the luminous, the golden iris pupil filling my sight and all the world rising, enraptured flying toward the center point, beguiled and battered beaten by the song I think must kill me. Ah, its surging music swells, groans, haunting and treacherous, climactic, ever peaking, ever more and more, still more and deeper resolutions, and more dark, greater resolutions, down, resolving, chord to chord, and down from chord to chord, as down up falling I fall in, with spiral arms enveloping, and sounds of glory singing glory glory and of glory, with scents of dirt and mushroom and of loam, and all the fruits and produce of the earth, in every spiric fan arc's turning swell, surrounded by the glory of the thing, I look and, seeing, gazing into gaze, and eye to eye, I sense the structure, smiling, laughing. Laughing and laughing, 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 and as I look upon it, falling in, as all its colors cut me ring on ring, I hear the center of the spiral say, Brendan, that which thou sowest is not quickened, at which the center opens and unfolds a shriveled, maddened, blind old man who adds, Except it die. Now I am dropped by it and fall back to myself, Standing and staring, out, up, with all the rest, as this great God above us, churning, moving onward now to his own symphony, as suddenly I realize, standing, weeping, everything I realize, laughing, weeping, now it all begins. <laughs> <laughs>